Hey, happy Sunday, everyone. I hope you had a, a blessed Thanksgiving. Guys, our Thanksgiving was grand. It was great. Um, you probably seen the pictures by now. Um, our royalty, the grandbaby first Thanksgiving. Uh, we, we, had, we, had to, we had a little one here uh, Thursday, and then we jumped in the cars and we went up to Charlotte. Isaiah had to be at uh, UNC Charlotte football game um, that Saturday, so we just hung out there. My grandmama got to see another one of her great great grands. So it was just it was it was awesome, you know. So glad to be back home. So I pray that all is well. That you had a, a happy Thanksgiving. I just I, I pray that the hand of God was on your life, man. We have a lot to be thankful for in spite of what's going on. We have a whole lot to be thankful for. Okay, and so that, that's what it is. Don't worry about it, anything else. Let all that other stuff go. Be thankful for, for right now and to the rest of the year because it could have been worse, but God kept his hand upon you. He brought you through. That's what it's all about. He brought me through. He brought my family through. He brought you through. He brought your family through. He brought Breath of God Church through. That's what it's all about. So we're just going to be thankful. Even during Christmas, we're going to be thankful. You know what I'm saying? We're thankful for everything that God has done. Amen. So let's continue to pray for our uh, for Mother Mother Omar. Let's continue to pray for Sister Marissa, uh, Sister Shah, and Elder Nick's cousin. Let's continue to pray for our brothers and sisters in Christ. All right? Um, let's just continue to keep all of us in prayer, man. Just continue to keep everybody in prayer. Um, I know it's the holiday season, and, and this is when people get depressed and stressed and everything without what's going on, all right? So with this added on top of it, we pray for God's strength. We pray for the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. Right where you are, I'm just praying already. We pray for the peace of God that surpasses all understanding. We pray for right now that the Holy Spirit come in and be a comforter to you and to everyone that is dealing with anything that is going on right now. We speak peace upon your life right now in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm not going to keep you long, guys. Some of y'all still probably had a little bit of family come in, things like that. I'm not going to keep you long. But, you know, last week we talked about radical gratitude. So this week I just want to close out with radical gratitude part two. All right, and we talked about the, the word radical comes from the group, group, uh, ugh, Greek word radicals, which means to be rooted, which means gratitude needs to be rooted in my spirit. You get what I'm saying? It needs to be rooted in my spirit, no matter how big the blessing is. No matter how big the blessing is. No matter if the blessing, no matter if somebody give me this pen or somebody gives me a new phone. Come on now, I need to be just as thankful for this phone as uh, uh, for this pen. You get what I'm saying? A lot of times if you're not careful, God will bless you with this, and you be like, ah, God will bless you with this. You be like, oh, my God, oh, my God. No, 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 because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because the, this pen right here can write a check. <laughs> this phone can send money. You see what I'm saying? So both of them can be a blessing. See, the issue is, is when you start looking at blessings, when you start trying to compare blessings. Now, God don't work like that. That's why he said, don't you turn your head and get small beginning. Every big thing st starts small. You remember I told you last week, blessings comes in levels. If you're faithful here, I'll move you here. If, you, if you're grateful here, I'll move you here. If you're grateful here, I'll move you here. If you're grateful here, I'll move you here. You remember I told you that? Remember I told you of uh, uh, finances? Come on now. No, no, no. If you give God what he, uh, the tenth here, he'll move you here. If you give him the tenth here, he'll move you here. Some of y'all need to try Jesus. If you give him the tenth here, he'll move you here. You get what I'm saying? But it starts here. You don't wait till you get here. Gratitude got to be rooted. It's rooted in the small thing. Then he moves you. You got it? But God ain't going to put you up here if you ain't grateful here. You heard their saying that your, my grandmama, you heard everybody tell, don't forget where you come from. Uh-huh. 
when you, when you, when you are thankful for how God brought you out of he, the ghetto, how he brought you out of here, and when he put you up here, oh boy. You get what I'm saying? But see, when you don't have that sense of gratitude, that's when things start getting messed up in your life. That's when the devil can sneak in. Come on now. And start making you do all kind of stuff. God gave me a revelation about uh, uh, the Garden of, uh, Garden of Eden, but I, I, that's, another, that's, a, that's another thing. That's another thing. We can talk about that later because I get off in something. Ah, I get off in it. You know what I'm saying? So, so we got to be grateful here. All right, so let, let me go. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Uh, and last week we talked about why is gratitude always God's will. We talked about, number one, it honors God. You remember that? Number two, it creates fellowship. Number three, uh, uh, it serves others. Number four, it's a witness to, un- other, uh, to witness to other believers. Remember when we closed with number five, it develops my faith. Remember that? It develops my faith. So I want to talk to you about uh, the four benefits of gratitude. The four benefits of gratitude, and I'm going to let you go. All right, there's going to be a cooker. The four benefits of gratitude. Uh, 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 number one, it will cause miracles. <laughs> yeah, yeah. One of the benefits of being thankful, uh, having gratitude, it will cause a miracle. You don't believe me? You don't believe me? If you, all you got to do, all you got to do is look at uh, Jesus when he fed the five thousand. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. Jesus when he fed the five thousand. The little boy was 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 happy. He had a, a thankful heart to share. Uh huh. To share what he had with Jesus. And Jesus turned around and produced the miracle. Y'all better stop playing with me. Uh, I, man, I'm about ready to go. I can go right there. You get what I'm saying? So you understand. Are you willing to share what you have with Jesus? Come on now. Uh, what could Jesus do well, if you share what you have with him? What would Jesus do if you shared that tenth? Come on now. What would Jesus do if you saw shared that seed? What would Jesus do? Well, come on, with, with, with that, if you shared it with it. Yeah, it will cause a miracle to overflow in your life. Yeah, but I'm, trying to, I'm trying to be good. Uh, uh, number, number two, uh, it, will make, it, it makes me better, not bitter. Yeah. Having, a bitter, having radical gratitude will make you better, not bitter. Why? Well, how is that, Pastor Potts? Because you won't be mad on, on what didn't happen. You will not be mad if somebody got the car before you got your car. Y'all better stop playing with me. Uh huh. You won't be mad if somebody got the house before you got the house. Uh huh. Because if you got that spirit of gratitude, you will go shout just as hard with them as if it was your house. You won't be like a lot of these other church folk around here getting bitter. I can't believe I've been doing this all these years and God bless such and such. See, that's the problem right there. You don't know what such and such. You, that ain't, that ain't, that ain't that, as my grandma would say, that's God's business. No, my, my thing is, is to be, it makes me better because I'm, I'm thankful that God blessed you. I'm thankful because maybe, just maybe, God is looking at you to see how you're going to react. Are you going to be bitter? Or are you going to be just as grateful for them? Stop playing with me. You don't want nobody hating on you. Or are you going to hate on them? See, maybe God just testing you to see. Mm-hmm. See, a lot of things that are starting to happen for breath of God now that didn't happen for breath of God back then, I wasn't bitter. I got pastor friends that I'm still good with right now. They built their churches. They had all this stuff. And God, it seemed like, well, nothing moving for me. But guess what? I st- I, guess what? I didn't get bitter. I danced with them. I, hey, I loved on them. We, I sold into that. Said, God, my turn is coming. I sold into that. We st- a, lot, a lot of them, I'm still friends with a lot of them today. Because there, there, there are seasons to everybody's life. Maybe that's not your season right there. You get what I'm saying? So it it, it didn't make me bitter. It made me better because it made me to keep believing because, I, God, I see that you did it for them, so I know you could do it for me. I got to keep doing what I'm supposed to do. Yeah. Number three, number three, number three, number three. It will defeat the devil. 
it will defeat the devil. How? Because the devil can't come in and steal your joy. The devil can't come in and steal your peace. The devil can't come in and, and, and steal or uh, steal your 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 faith. You got it? No, the devil can't come in and steal that. Uh, because then when you have a, a spirit of gratitude, a spirit of thanksgiving, no matter what is going on in your life, no matter what's going on in your life, no matter how it's going, no matter what it looks like, you are still going to be grateful. You're still showing up to church. You're still paying your tithes. You're still giving your offering. You're still praying. You're still fasting. You're still reading your word. Come on now. You're still serving. Because you, see, and it's hard for the devil to steal people's joy when they still doing that in the midst of it. That's how it would defeat the devil. My last point, I'm going to let you go. It will keep you in God's will. Yeah. Having that spirit of gratitude will keep you in God's will. It will keep you in God's will. It will keep you moving in the direction that God has for your life. Come on. That's, that's my grandma said, let's go to the good book. Let's go to the good book. Let's go to Ephesians chapter 3. Ephesians chapter 3. And we're going to start uh, with verse, uh, uh, let me see here. Uh, we we'll start with verse 13. This is Paul. This is Paul and Timothy. We're going to start Ephesians chapter 3. We're going to start with verse 13. And here it goes. It says, therefore, I ask that you do not lose heart at my tribulations for you, which is your glory. Verse 14, for this reason, I bow my knees to the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, from whom the whole family in heaven and earth is named, that he will grant you according to the riches of his glory. Here's this Paul talking to Timothy, that he will grant you the riches of his glory to be strengthened with might through his spirit in an inner man. 17, that Christ may dwell in your hearts throughout through faith, that you being rooted, there we go, that word again, and grounded in love, 18, may be able to comprehend with all the saints what, what is the width and length and depth and height, 19, to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge, that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. It keeps you in his will. It keeps you moving forward. It keeps you going down the path that he has for you. For I know the plans that I have for you. Yeah. You, it, 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 you won't get off on somebody else's plan because well, how, that, that's somebody else's blessing. That's not how God want to bless me. For I, that's God's telling you. For I know the plans that I have for you. So having that spirit of gratitude will keep you going in the direction that God has for your life. Come on, church. That's what it's all about. So I got to keep that spirit of gratitude no matter what it looks like. No matter if I don't have enough money for the car note. No matter if I don't have enough money for the house note. No matter if I don't have enough money for the car insurance. No matter if I don't have enough money for Christmas. I'm still keeping that spirit of gratitude. Why? Because I know Pastor Pa said that he would produce a miracle. I know that Pastor Pa said that that spirit of gratitude will bring a miracle my way. Come on now. That spirit of gratitude, when it don't look good, will, 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 will make God get up. Because now I'm showing God that, that, that my faith, the Bible said without faith, it's impossible to please God. I'm showing God no matter what it looks like, I'm still holding on to your word. Know it. Even if you come through, even if they tell me my light bill got to be paid by 4 o'clock and you don't send the blessing to 359, <laughs> you made it. That what they said, the mother, the old, the old church said he's the old time God. Just because he didn't come when you want him, that's the soul. He may not come when you want him, but he's going to come on time. That's what it's all about. 
So stay in faith. Stay in gratitude. Stop getting mad because it didn't happen when you thought it wasn't going to happen. Praise the Lord. It's going to happen. He's going to send it. He's going to do it. Because he said, I'm a man that I shall not lie. If I said I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. My days are not your days. My thoughts are not your thoughts. Got to move at the right time. But you got to stay in the spirit of thanksgiving. Brother God, I love you. I thank God for you. Again, I hope you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Man, this is a new year, man. We can, we're not going to a wall. We're going to run into 2021. There's big blessing that God has to store for us. You stay in faith. Stay, stay in Thanksgiving. I'm telling you. It's coming. All right? Say it with me. Say it with me. Say it with me. I'm the head. I am not the tail. I am more than a conqueror. No weapon that is formed against me shall be able to prosper. I'm blessed in my going in. I changed it up a little bit. I'm blessed in my going out. I speak houses that you did not build and vineyards that you did not plant. Yeah. The blessing of the Lord is upon your life. So I want you to scream it like and let everything know it. Make the whole house shake. Scream it. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. And I'm blessed. God bless you, brother. God, I love you. I see you in person the next time. God bless you.